Hello everyone, welcome to the long dark. We are back in survival mode. Yes, we've completed winter mute in our previous playthrough and we are now back here for another survival mode playthrough. What I am going to say though is that this is going to be my last survival mode playthrough for the time being. I've done an awful lot of long dark on the channel and I've decided that uh, I kind of want to mix things up a little bit and do a few new things and do something different. So this is going to be the last long dark playthrough for the near future uh, when there's been a f I'll probably leave it until there's a few more updates or certainly when winter mute the next episodes come out is probably when I'll pick the long dark back up again on the channel I am of course going to carry on playing behind the scenes but uh, on the channel we're going to be concentrating on other things but we are going to start a survival mode playthrough because a rugged sentinel the December update 2017 has come out uh, it was launched uh, from my perspective yesterday I believe um, and uh, my game has updated now uh, as it stands there shouldn't be any videos recording this weekend I should be away I should be down south visiting my relatives unfortunately it started to snow in the Midlands uh, which has kind of stranded us we haven't been able to get down there so I am here playing the long dark instead ironically in the snow but anyway it doesn't matter we are here in the long dark we're going to start a um, survival mode playthrough uh, and we're going to get back into it so let's start so we're going to start a new game we're going to start into stalker now this is one of the updates that has happened is that we can now choose custom level we can actually set our own uh, custom settings i'm not going to do that i'm going to stick with stalker but that's kind of cool i like that so let's go in now region wise uh, milton is now a playable region it is called mountain town uh, in um survival mode rather than Milton but it's good for new players it links into Mystery Lake and for Lorne Muskeg I don't exactly know how um, precisely it links together I believe there's a cave system uh, which somewhere from Milton links towards Trapper's Homestead now that kind of fits in with uh, what happened in Wintermute except of course um, we didn't actually um, do that in winter music. It was a cut scene and it jumped from one episode to the other. So I assume there's a cave entry near Trapper's Homestead in Mystery Lake. But of course, we're going to start in Mountain Town because it's a brand new region. So that's where we're going to start. Um, I can't remember if I was male or female last time around. Uh, well, we'll go with female because already selected. Right then, so here we go. This is a rugged playthrough. I'm just going to call it rugged because I can't call them very long names. Let's get into this. Let's get playing the long dark once again. And I really hope you've been enjoying my tutorial series as well. Uh, check out the tutorial series. It's um, something I'm going to keep building on. That is one thing about the long dark I am going to keep doing until I get to the end. I've got a, a massive list of about 20 videos that I want to do. Uh, my... Um, broken microphone has delayed me slightly with those i'm using backup microphone number one uh which is the clip on lavalier mic that i use when we're recording the vlogs and uh, various other things so uh I've, i found the adapter that lets me use it with my pc so that's what i'm doing so where are we we're on the road we're on the road to nowhere we are literally ah we're on the road where the crashed prison buzz is so the first place we're going to come across is going to be um, I don't think we're going to find a great deal around here, to be honest. The first thing we're going to go and find... Can we go in the buzz? No. Nope. Okay, well, the first thing we're going to find then is the gas station. So that's where we're going to head to. If we remember this from Wintermute, it's the gas station we're going to come across first. But of course, things are different. We can now kind of wander about. We can explore the region uh, a little bit more than we did. Um, in Wintermute. To be fair, we could have done it in Wintermute. I just kind of didn't. Um, I kind of just went through the story and played the story. We've got to be a little bit careful, of course, because there's going to be wolves around. There's going to be bears around. And, of course, there are now going to be moose around. Uh, the moose are on the loose. I didn't mean to say that. That just kind of came out. Um, yeah, the moose are on the loose. They're out there. Who let this moose loose? I boot this hoose. I tried to resist that one. I'm sorry. I apologise unreservedly to Scotland. I tried to resist that one. That's from an old British television advert for anyone who uh, is wondering where that one came from. I do apologise. I tried to resist. Uh, let's pick up the cloth. Okay, so here we are with the gas station. So we are hopefully going to find some things inside here. 
Oh, I need a pry bar to get in. Oh, that's annoying. They've carried that over from Wintermute. Oh, that's a bit annoying. <laughs> Can we get in the back door? No. Okay, so I still need a pry bar to get into um, the gas station. That's annoying. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Um, let's head into the main town then and see what we can find now. As we can't get to the gas station, I suppose a logical place to go is going to be the Grey Mother's house and see what is in there. I don't know it not, look, we're not going to ever get in it. Okay, let's head in. I don't know what time of day it is, by the way. Yeah, we are coming up to Darn, so we probably need to find some shelter. A, is that, I think that might be a wolf over there, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. So we want to choose ourselves a base. Um, the, my, my plan was to use the Grey Mother's house as the base, assuming I actually can. Because a lot of these buildings are derelict, you can't get into most of them. There is the bank manager's house, assuming that's still accessible in survival mode. So survival mode is it's a whole different ball game around Milton. Oh, I can get in there. This is the town of Milton. I can get in the bank manager's house by the looks of things, so that's good. And so I can get in the house next door as well. Obviously, it's not going to be called. I wouldn't think it's going to be called the bank manager's house. No, but I can get in there. I'm not going to because I want to get to the great mother's house. Get in that one as well. Spot on. I want to get to the great mother's house because I just want to see, out of curiosity, what's in there. And what's what in the Grey Mother's house? First off, can we actually... Oh no, oh no, not good. Not out of all good. Where's the wolf? Where's the wolf? Where is it? Oh, it's there. I'm walking straight towards it. Okay. I think I'm going to go for the old Brave Sir Robin. So we are going to go into the bank manager's house. Okay, so... Not quite where I was intending to start, but never mind, we are here and we can uh, start our scavenging. I suppose we can start in here. Oh, we've got some... Uh, oh, that's okay. That's a good find. That's a good start. It's probably the only thing we're going to find in the entire house, but it's a good start. Other things with the Rugged Sentinel update, obviously we've got uh, Milton as Blabber Region, we've got the Moose, they're the biggies. Um, there are a couple of things that you can craft from the Moose Hide. Uh, I believe there's a cloak that you can craft, which I don't know what benefit it gives you, but um, we'll see if we can actually, we'll see if we can find it in the crafting menu in a, in a second and just see what kind of benefits it gives you. And I also believe there's some sort of satchel which you can craft. Oh, that's even better, that's cooked. I believe there's some sort of satchel that you can craft as well, which allows you to carry more things. It increases your carrying weight. There's some good firewood going on here. Spot on. Looks like somebody's been camping out in here. Uh, let's well do, do the full loot. We'll do the full works. A hey, perfect. That's a good coat to find. That's in decent condition. Well, I've got some trail boots, which I suspect are going to be an improvement. What's this over here? A ski jacket. Hey, anyway, this is a good start, this. This is not bad for a, a, a stalker mode start. We've, uh, we've got off quite well. Okay, so we encountered a wolf early on, but at least we got away from it. And that's half the tactics with wolves. If you've been watching my tutorial series and you've kind of jumped onto this as a, a playthrough to watch, that's putting it into practice. Keeping clear of the walls is your best survival strategy. Don't go toe to toe with them unless you absolutely have to. Do bank managers keep guns under their beds? Apparently not. Let's have a quick look in the drawer. And we've got some more socks. We've got some water, of course, from the toilet, which we are taking from the cistern, not from the bowl. Uh, and we've got a cabinet. We've got some cloth, and we sometimes find first aid cabinets, nothing in here, there's something in this, nothing in the shower cubicle. I am going to break down these towels for cloth, because I think I want to kind of quite early on start to get myself a decent clothing set sorted out, which is going to mean having plenty of cloth to repair clothes that I find. The ones I found are actually a pretty decent nick. I think I'm really going to go for stockpiling in this playthrough. Whoops! 
possibly stayed a little bit too long there. But we have a bed and we are well hydrated and well fed, so we should be able to sleep. We're not very really tired though, so I don't think we're going to sleep for very long before we wake up fully rested. Which obviously doesn't happen in uh, Winter Mute, but does in uh, survival mode, so we're going to have to pass time. So let's pass time for. I can't cut, can I? Let's pass time for four hours. Oh, I can cancel passing time. There was a period where you couldn't, and then you could easily end up uh, seriously dropping your condition, dehydration, if you weren't careful, but uh, apparently we now can. There we go, that's dealt with that. Mid-sentence. Okay, so now we're a little bit tired. Let's sleep. In fact, no, let's pass time for another few hours. We'll pass time for another four hours. We started off this place pretty well, actually. In pretty good condition. We found a few things. Okay, so we're coming up to... The Aurora is out! The Aurora is out. The lights are on. I know that uh, Aurora effects have been added to all of the regions in the game. Just trying to find my way into the kitchen. I know Aurora effects have been added. There's very much in here to. I mean, I can go outside, but I assume the uh, the wolves are going to be crazy, like they are in uh, Winter Meat. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to sleep for a few hours to get us through to morning. And the Aurora will still be active, I strongly suspect. We have survived for 14 hours and 54 minutes. The Aurora is not active by the looks of things. I don't really know. The lights, electric lights, don't seem to be on. Okay, so let's just take stock of what we're carrying around with us. Let's get into our backpack. Well, let's go into our let's go into our backpack. Do we have a sewing kit first off? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, so I can't do any clothing repair first away, but we can sort out our clothing. So we have a pretty decent Mariner's Peak coat, so I'm going to pop that on. And we have a ski jacket, so I'm going to pop that on as well. We are carrying, uh, we have a head, we have a scarf, well, of course we have a head, we have a hat and we have a scarf. Decent work boots versus trail boots. Uh, they're pretty worn trail boots. I'm going to go with the work boots, they seem to be better condition but I've got the weight to carry the trail boots so I'm going to carry those with me and I have uh, quite a few pairs of socks let's pick the best of the bunch Oop. okay no improvement there so we'll stick with those and I have a 63% pair and a 65% pair in fact I can actually put both of them on I've just realized so there we go might as well put them both on so yes that is going to increase my weight slow me down a bit with my sprinting but it's going to keep us nice and warm it's given us a plus eight warmth bonus which is uh, pretty decent for this stage in the game okay so we're carrying uh, about half our carrying weight we've got plenty of stuff uh, yeah we're actually looking pretty good so we've pretty much looted this building so let's head out and we'll try and get over to the Great Mother's house. Don't know where we're going to find this wolf. I assume we're going to have to play dodge the wolf. Not bad condition, not bad. Okay, I assume we're going to have to play dodge the wolf. Let's keep our eyes peeled. I know the wolves do tend to hang around, they certainly do in Wintermute in the middle of Milton, so we've got to be a little bit careful as we're heading around. I think we can survive here for quite a while, you know. There's plenty of plenty of stuff to explore in Milton, it's a pretty decent region. Okay, let's head to the Grey Mother's house then. Which is what I am planning to use as my base camp. I assume we're not going to find the Grey Mother in here. Nope. The Grey Mother has gone. Her chair is tipped over. And is it me or does her house look a bit smaller? No, I don't think it does. I think it's just me. I think it's probably because it normally just goes to a cutscene, isn't it? Okay, so what are we going to find in the Grey Mother's house then? Except it's not the Grey Mother's house. It's just a house. We've got some mittens. A nice clock. 
worn t-shirt. I'm going to do my normal trick of just gathering up everything and then we'll sort ourselves out later. We've got a tinder plug, we've got a metal pot in the fire, we can of course light a fire in the fireplace, we've got some firewood. Uh, we'll break that chair down quite early on once we get the stuff to do that with, I think. Is that some matches? Awesome. Let's head this way, which I believe is the kitchen, pretty decent sized kitchen. A cardboard box, which I know we can break into tinder, which I am actually going to do because I am lacking some tinder. So that's cool. Uh, what we got in the fridge? Nothing. Nothing in the freezer either. We've got ourselves the stove here, so I'll probably use the stove rather than the fireplace. Though, yeah, really, it doesn't matter. I think I should be storing my uh, food stash in the kitchen, as I always do. I usually use the fridge and the freezer if there is one as a nice way of sorting my food out. The food goes in the fridge, the water goes in the freezer. Is what I usually do to keep myself organised. So spare food will be in the fridge, water will be in the freezer. And I think that's going to be one of the first things I'm going to do is uh, make myself a massive stash of water. Uh, Wilderness Kitchen, that's a researchable book. So that's pretty cool. Anything in the trash can? I might actually use that as a trash can. Okay, right. Now, aside from the little trip upstairs as part of the story mode where we had to go to one of the rooms to pick up some stuff, we've never really been upstairs in the Great Mother's house, so we obviously have No, I think you'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay. Not very much up here so far. But a few things. I should probably use the cupboard in that bedroom as my... I'll probably use that room as my actual room. And all the spare clothes will go in there. I don't see the point of walking all the way around here. Just to come in there. Come around to the other room. We'll check that one out in a minute. Let's just check out the bathroom. Oops, absolutely nothing in here. A very small bathroom. A very, very small bathroom indeed. Not very much in there at all. A little storeroom, box room. Lots of cardboard boxes and cloth, which will. We will. Uh, let me just drink because I know I'm starting to get dehydrated, so I'll just drink. And let's break these things down. Basically saving myself the bother of having to come back around here again. So we probably won't really be coming back around to these rooms. Unless there's a, a real, real need to. Which I don't think there's going to be at any point. We'll break that down. The one downside with the Grey Mother's house. I don't think there's a workbench. But there might be one out the back. I'm just trying to remember actually. Um, food wise we're okay let's just eat that granola bar that'll just stop our condition from dropping there's actually a cup of coffee lurking behind that cloth and lots of stacks of papers lots of stacks of papers so these are going to be oh we're not going to go short of tinder we are not going to go short of tinder in here we are not going to go short of firewood either Okay, so that's cool. So yeah, we probably will be coming back here. Looks like there's some rifle ammunition on the ground just there. No rifle though. Anything in the trunk? Nope. And through the drawers. Ooh, okay. And what we got here? Some climbing socks. We've got a sewing kit, which I wanted. I want to try and get all of the clothes I'm wearing up to a really, really good standard before we go much further. I want to try and get myself off to a really solid start with this playthrough. So I really want to make this the one that hits that infamous 100 day goal, which I've still completely failed to achieve, which most people may find a little bit surprising given how many hours I've logged on the long dart but uh, I've never hit never hit that target of a hundred days okay so I think this is gonna make the best uh, base for us it's a decent sized house 
we've got plenty of storage in here so what we're going to do uh, obviously this is going to be our, where we're going to be having our main kind of uh, area where we're going to put stuff um, things that are going to be curing we'll put in here once we have a hatchet and things we'll clear all this out and we'll break down all of these things and uh, create ourselves some space uh, we have a fireplace here as well which we can use we've got the kitchen around here which we can use to store all of our food in uh, and anything kind of supplies related like that so we may as well break down the stool so things like tools and stuff we'll probably keep in here on these tables um, so that we know where they are and upstairs in the wardrobe obviously we have the bed uh, we have the bed and we have uh, the wardrobe where we can store our clothes so I think we are off to a pretty solid start here with uh, we're gonna call this one rugged sentinel playthrough rugged sentinel playthrough part one we are off to a very very solid start so what i'm going to say for this one we're going to call it a day and we're going to in the next video we'll get ourselves all set up here and what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to make a really good decent long fire uh, i'm going to um make a big stockpile of water that's the first resource i want to try and build up and then we'll go and do a bit of exploring around this immediate area see if we can find a hatchet first off so we can start breaking down some more things inside our base camp get our base camp all nice and set up and then we'll start going exploring the rest of milton and seeing what we can find around milton but right now as always i'm gonna say thank you so much for watching thanks for all the likes all the comments hit uh, hit the uh, hit the like button hit the subscribe button stay tuned for more videos uh, on the long dark and on some nautica and all the various other games and things that i play and non-game related stuff as well uh, so thanks very much for watching uh stay tuned and i shall see you again very very soon